Hi everyone, our journal page today and I've already uh, gessoed my page. I'm using, a, this is the paper here is sketchbook uh, <laughs> paper. So I uh, gessoed my page so I have, it's a good primer and the paints are will not absorb into the page, uh, into the paper quickly. I want the, uh, the ability to play with them. Uh, so that's why I gessoed my page. I'm going to use some uh, colors today that I don't usually use. I, I'm quite, uh, this is burnt sienna. I'm trying to use uh, different things. I'm trying to, um, use all my stashes and all kinds of stuff that is lying around that I don't use. This is dark plum. Let's see. And I've got here antique gold. I've been saving in Pinterest uh, all kinds of color sets that I don't usually work with. So it, I decided <laughs> that it's time to work with it and not just save pins in Pinterest. It doesn't want to get out. Okay. Now I've got also what this, this is goldenrod. It really, it doesn't really matter the shade. I'm just trying to play. And this is forest green. And I also got leaf green. So first I'm just going to play around with my background. I don't really have a complete plan. I'm just putting down some color and also mixing as I go. It really doesn't matter. I am not looking for blended look or something. Just putting down color. And there will probably uh, be more layers to come that, so it really doesn't matter. And yeah just don't want a white to show and this uh, craft paints are a little bit runny so sometimes the white is showing through so i'm cleaning a little bit my uh, paintbrush because i want to move to the greens and again i'm going over so the colors are mixing I'm moving from darker to lighter towards the center of the page. But otherwise I really don't care what's going on. <laughs> Just smearing paint. Again into the other colors and I'm also 
also going back it just helps to mix everything I think and the, the paint is still wet so it can still be worked and And if you don't like it, you can also always go in and just add or wait for everything to dry and then add. <laughs> or if you really, really don't like what's happening, just cover everything with gesso. I really like how this uh, yellow is giving light to the page so I'm just going and again mixing with the other colors and that's what's good about these paints they are runny they are not completely opaque so I can go in uh, on the darker areas and just add a little bit yeah okay I think maybe a little bit more and just here a little bit more and I think I have too much white showing so as you can see taking again more paint and just going over where I think it's needed so you can always work it more until you're satisfied So I think I need to let this dry and then I'll come back. I'm back. My page is dry. Now I want to add more to it and lighten. Uh, it's very dark and it's on purpose because I know I want to do more uh, layers on top of it that will lighten uh, the whole thing. So I've just got this. I think it's a shaving brush at least once upon a time that's what it wa was used for and I'm taking again from the same colors and just taking from the two greens and I don't want a lot of uh, paint on my brush and very very <laughs> lightly I'm trying just And I'm also taking a little bit of the yellow, just mixing everything. I think I need more of the yellow. And as I said, this is just building layers and most of it I think will get a uh, covered just to add details in the background and in this case I think it also uh, adds a little bit of uh, movement on the page Now you don't have to use this kind of brush, any kind of bristles, a bristle brush can work, here I'm switching. There is no a 
rhyme or reason this is quite random and I'm putting the the colors wherever I think they are needed and yeah okay next this needs to dry before I continue to the next phase of this a page and hoping that something will come out of it and I'll be back I'm back I want to stencil some of this uh, flowers and leaves and whatever into the background I'm going to use the same colors I already have here because it's still just building a background they are not supposed to be a in your face here is a flower <laughs> they are just going to be part of the background more details to the layers and i'm just switching between the colors i don't really care and it's the same colors on the same colors so most of it won't be a show and that's how i want it and i i'm not really uh, concerned about what type of flower i'm doing here i'm just as i said it just to add details yeah and just i need a little bit more of this darker green and yeah so i really like it i'm going to do a little bit more of it So I'm just, as you can see, just switching between the colors and I'm trying, let's move it a little bit. There is never enough space. Okay. almost out of paint here but never mind okay here it is so finished with this now i want all over this page circles and this is the bucket technique and i'm going to start with some very large uh, circles and i'm going to use um, two colors that are like a uh, lighter in tone than the others this is early spring green and this is luscious lemon and i'm going to put some here Now I need to work with them very lightly because I, I don't want it to be center stage. I just want a, something very, very light. So let's give it a shot. I took very little paint on my makeup sponge and even if I feel I've dabbed it and I had too much I'm just spreading it around
That's better. And let's see. So now for smaller circles, it's going to take me quite some time. I'm going also to overlap uh, the circles. The problem is I've got quite a large page here. So it really is going to take a while. I'm going to do some so you will see what's going on. And then I'll continue off camera and just cover my page with all those circles I'm really really trying to be very light about it So, I'll be back. I'm back. So, took me a while to cover the whole page. Now I want to get on with my uh, focal point, which is going to be a poppy. Now I haven't decided if I want one or more, but I do know that I want one here. And this is just a stencil I made. This is a plastic divider that I drew on with permanent marker and then uh, cut it with a uh, nail scissors so that that's about it I'm going to take again some colors I'm I've got here the dark uh, plum that I've used in the back I've got a uh, this red bird color I've got Christmas red and bright orange and it's mostly the the darkest and the lighter one are uh, the darker for making uh, it look more uh, shaded in areas and the orange is to give highlights and I'm just going to use again a makeup sponge and let's see I'm starting with the darker color here in the middle and like this I'm holding down a uh, the stencil it's quite flimsy Okay, moving to the next I will probably need a few layers as I said these are quite runny uh, paints and not quite opaque but sometimes that's just something that really works for me so I'm not complaining <laughs> if it won't work I will just switch to other paints I have that are more heavy bodied it moves and I really need to keep it in place I'm just switching and moving back where where I think it needs more paint I'm 
letting them blend okay so not sure about it I think I need to switch to more uh, opaque paints that I have acrylic paints but just a little bit more heavy bodied or just have patience and go over and over <laughs> until I've got nice coverage we'll see good enough for me I'm leaving it be and let's see I want some little dots in the center I'm taking some uh, let's see some brush and I'm going with the darker color good enough for me I'm thinking I will go uh, around uh, and make some kind of contour so it will be more uh, more pronounced on my page I'm not sure yet okay so I'm going to I want some stem here and to have more control I'm just going to use this acrylic uh, pen this is by zig it's like the posca pens and let's see yeah So, do I want more uh, poppies here? No, not uh, these ones, uh, but I do think I'm going to do some that haven't opened yet. Something. I'm doing it quite freehand don't really care how accurate it is and taking some paint doing some kind of bud here yeah and Let's do another one. And Do I want another one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not planned, it's just something. That I feel that I need on my page. And I'm just making it as I go. yeah okay i'm going to let this dry uh, i'm thinking maybe uh, some leaves but i'm not sure yet i'm going to take a step back and i'll be back i'm back so i drew uh, like three leaves and i really like them and i still want to add to my page don't know why just going with it i have this paper napkin with these poppies 
and I'm going to take this a uh, part out of the paper napkin I'm taking a fine a uh, brush with a little bit of water and just going like this it will uh, let me take out this part without having a uh, straight edges and that's how I like to work with paper napkins they blend more uh, more uh, easily into the background when they have these torn edges. Now I just need to separate the two layers in the back. You can separate them uh, uh, before you tear the part that you want or after, it doesn't really matter and I want them um, like a border here and it doesn't go uh, until up to the top so I'm just going to take another part of the paper napkin here and then I'm going to glue this so I'm going I'll be back I'm back so I already glued this part and took another part of the paper napkin so I can uh, continue this a border and I'm just using some white glue that I added a little bit of water that's how I like to work uh, with napkins it's easier when it's not really thick uh, the the glue and it's about um, three thirds <laughs> a glue to one third a uh, water so it uh, when it dries it's supposed to uh, be uh, translucent now if I will feel that it's not enough and it's still uh, be seen too much on the petals then I'll just go in with a paintbrush and uh, acrylic paint and go over just to make them uh, look again uh, the same so I'm going to leave uh, this to dry and I'm trying to be quick about it because I'm running out of time on my phone about uh, uh, the recording it's only giving me like a uh, half an hour to record uh, I'll be back <laughs> I'm back so I really like it as you can see it really blended into the background uh, so I'm not going to start uh, putting here some paint what I do want to finish the, this page, I want a little bit more a uh, hint of red to it. So I'm thinking I will try to do something. I'm going to use this Distress uh, Ink Barn Door and this makeup sponge. And I want to try and give, a, well, a, like the impression of more a red tint to the page at least. Uh, here on the edges I was uh, thinking uh, of putting some I wanted to write a uh, spring is coming or something like that but I decided that I really like this page as is I don't need the writing I'm just leaving it as is just want this red color to add on top and what's great about it is that it's not covering uh, it's not opaque you can still see all the details underneath yeah well, a little bit more and here yeah that's my page now let's remove this and I will bring it closer to the camera in hopes that you will see all the details in the background here we go I'm trying to move <laughs> slowly so you won't get dizzy so this is it, that's my page. I'm really in love with it. Uh, I'm thinking about 
taking it out and framing it we'll see so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now